Hey YouTube besties, welcome back to my channel. Hey friends, so welcome to cash stuffing number four. This is my second paycheck from my main job. So cash stuffing number four, but second paycheck from main job. Super excited to be back cash stuffing with you guys. I feel like it's been forever, but it hasn't. <laughs> it's literally been like five days, but I mean, who's counting, right? Um, so today we're gonna be stuffing on on the higher side. Um, it's gonna be $1,650 that we're gonna be stuffing. I am stuffing rent. Um, always pay that early. So that's why the stuffing is so high this go around. We're stuffing my envelopes. Lord knows I need some cash, all right? These envelopes have been empty for days now, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and hop right into the stuffing. As always, I've already filled out my trackers for my sinky funds. And I also have something to share, share with you guys. Because I don't know if you've noticed or if you guys have ever paid attention, but I have a new binder here and I can't wait to share that with you guys. But let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, so we're going to do groceries first and that's going to get 100 and that's going to be a $100 bill. What has everyone been up to? Are we still doing good with our budgets? not overspending sticking to the goals gas is getting 30 a 20 and a 10. i feel like i've been doing good for the most part um i ha i do have a small buffer in my account and usually <laughs> that small buffer would be gone by now but i didn't even touch it Fun is getting 25. It's going to be a 20 and a 5. Yes, I haven't touched the buffer. So, I mean, that's good. I think the only thing that I'm struggling with right now is like I'm so fixated on saving, save, save, save. Um, but like I'm scared to spend any money y'all like i don't know if you guys have noticed but i don't touch my sinking funds even though that's the purpose of sinking funds to save up for things um i don't touch them like i'd be scared to eating out is getting 20 and it's gonna be four or fives um because i really want to get back into digital budgeting um which would require me to buy an ipad again Oh, these are spanking new. 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, but I just can't bring myself to spend the money for the iPad. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Um, giving is going to get five. Interesting. I did a $5 bill. I never do a $5 bill, but okay. Perfect. Like you guys know how I was mentioning that, you know, I want to get um, new envelopes. I wanted to revamp my envelopes because I've had these envelopes for over two years now. Um, and I have the envelopes that I want in my cart along with some other things, but I just can't <laughs> bring myself to proceed to check out just because i'm so scared of spending money nowadays like i'll spend what's in my wallet no problem but when it comes to having to touch my sinking funds or my savings like i get the worst anxiety <laughs> like i can't go through with it 
Um, okay, we're gonna go right into our sinking funds. All right, so car maintenance is getting 20. That's just a $20 bill. Y'all, yeah, I be looking back on my videos and my fingers just look a mess. Like, I wish I could wear cute nails like everybody else, but I think what's gonna happen, I know a lot of girls just wear press-on nails just for their videos, but like putting press-on nails just for this video and then popping them right off, like that has to damage your nails after, you know, a certain amount of time, right? Like my nails are already like super short and brittle. So I can't imagine like putting glue on them, sticking some fake nails on just for a video and then having to pop them right off. Cause my job doesn't allow nails at all. No polish, nothing. And your nails have to stay short. But my fingers are so short, fat and chunky. Like, so they look so crazy not having something on my fingers. Um, okay, so $20 in carb maintenance. So let's go ahead and add that. So we now have 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300, 10, 20, 25, 30. So 330 in car maintenance. But I wish I could wear nails or at least polish, you know? Some gel polish. Now we're going into home and home is going to get 200, $200 bills. And this envelope has a lot of money on it. Um, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 650, 700, 750, 800, 850, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. So we have $1,000 in home officially, y'all. 1,000. And I'm gonna do um, a condensing video. Oh. <sighs> probably after after my fifth stuffing because certain envelopes are getting to this point and I don't want to damage the envelopes um kids is getting skipped birthdays is getting skipped dream home is getting 215 who knows when I'm gonna get the courage to buy more envelopes so i definitely don't want to damage my envelopes by trying to put too much in them so dream home let's go ahead and add this money okay so we have one thousand in the bank i'm gonna set that to the side 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 950, 1000. So that's 2000 now. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 190, 195, 200. So we have 1000, 2000, and 200. So 2200 is what's in Dream Home now. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a cash condensing video. Yikes. Okay. My poor envelopes. Um okay. Emergency fund, it's getting 20. So we have 1,000 in the bank, 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 360, 370. So $1,370 in emergency fund. Savings is getting 20. Okay, 
guys. So we now have 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. 580 in savings. Okay, and clothing is getting skipped. Clothing currently has $55 in it. Actually, I'm gonna have to do an unstuffing too. Old Navy was having a sale, y'all, and I broke down. <laughs> and I used my Old Navy card because the only way to get 50% off is using your Old Navy card. And the thing is, I didn't even buy anything for myself. So let me backtrack, okay? I have issues with spending money for stuff for myself. When it comes to my kids, y'all, I will buy in a heartbeat. Anything I need, I always hesitate, okay? So, <laughs> Old Navy was having a sale, and, like, my first instinct is, oh, go find some things for your daughter. Um, and that's exactly what I did. So, I am going to have to unstuff the clothing envelope because I used my Old Navy card, and I'm going to have to pay that money back to my card. Um, okay, so now we're in the bills binder. And we're going to be stuffing $850 in rent. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a $50 bill. And we do have $100 in here, but this $100 um, is for. <clears throat> my rent in Arizona. I think I explained before that basically everything is in here that's in here is for the bills that I will have in Arizona. So this hundred dollars is starting off my rent so I can get ahead of the game. And then same thing with six month policy. I'm saving so I can um switch to a six month policy in instead of month to month. So that's what that's for. And then utilities that's for my first utility bill in Arizona. So all of these bills here are for in Arizona. But I did mention that I'm gonna be stuffing the rent here in Arizona because of the fees that my boyfriend was getting charged by transferring the money from Cash App to his account. So I just give him cash now. Um, so $850. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, fifty, and this hundred dollars does not go with this rent. So technically, right now we have nine fifty in here, but eight fifty will be coming out. So that's rent. Six month policy. I'm putting a twenty in there. I actually need to start beefing this up because for the next five months. I have to be putting 238.10. I actually put a little reminder right here for myself. I have to be putting 238.10. So by January, I have enough to transfer to a six month policy instead of doing the month to month. So starting next month, I'm gonna have to start putting more money in this envelope. Adding the $20, we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 105. One oh five and six month policy. And let me tell y'all. So you guys know I cancel Hulu, right? And you know how when you cancel something, they'll start sending you um like specials and stuff and deals to get you to come back. Why Hulu sent me? I'm gonna put it up on the screen, okay? They gonna send me an email saying $2.99 for six months. $2.99 per month for the first six months. And I'm like, really? That's less than $20, y'all. How y'all charging less than $20 for six months, but for the whole year, because they have a package where you can pay yearly for the whole year is $79.99. That don't even add up. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, but I want to do it so bad. And I should because, hold on, hold on. In entertainment, I have $50. So technically, I could go ahead and get it right now. And it only be $17 and some change, y'all. But anyways, they keep trying to pull me back in. And I'm so cheap, y'all. That $2.99 for the first six months. $2.99 per month for the first six months sounds real good, okay? But anywho, let me get back on topic. So we went ahead and we added the $20 in utilities, right? So we now have $80 in there. Medical is getting skipped. Entertainment is getting a five. Why do I have an extra 20 here? Something is not right because I don't have anything. Y'all, did I add the money right? Did I add the, let me just recount. 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. No, I did not add the 20. We didn't even get to utilities yet because I started bumping my gums, right? <laughs> we need to add 20 to utilities first. Okay, so 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. So utilities now have $80 in it. Thank God I went back. Okay, so we're supposed to be on entertainment. Entertainment is getting five. Okay, so we now have 20, 40, 45, 50. But yeah, I should go ahead and take one of these 20s out of here and go ahead and pay that $2.99 for the next six months. So that's done. So bill binder is done. And then we're gonna go ahead and go into our vacation binder. You guys know we're stuffing for my little three day weekend in Arizona next month. We gotta pay for the car rental and the hotel. Um, so car rental is getting 50 added to it okay so we now have 100 150 170 180 185 so this envelope literally needs a hundred more dollars and the car rental is paid for hotel is getting didn't mean to do that hotel is getting 50 Okay, so we have 100, 150, 170, 180, 81, 82. So hotel actually needs like 103 more and the hotel will be paid for. And then I can start working on my food, gas, tips, and shopping. So that is all for the vacation envelope. What I wanted to show you guys was, okay, so we know that the focus right now for me is saving for this move back to Arizona. That's the main focus right now. A bulk of my money is going to this move. But after I move, so hopefully, fingers crossed, starting in November, I wanna start working on saving for my house. Yay! So, um, I created a new binder. Um, all these materials I already had at home, y'all. <laughs> this binder came in a three pack with those two binders. Um, and then these um, zipper envelopes are envelopes that I used to use back in the day. So I've had these envelopes for at least two and a half years. And I stopped using them because I had got those envelopes envelopes made um these trackers that i have in the inside these was bought in a big bundle from amazon they're not laminated um but i have a total of 11 envelopes in here and let me show you guys what categories i came up with so you guys know how i said i have a hard time spending money nowadays right well <laughs> i went ahead and i went on etsy and instead of as much as I want to have, you know, a cute, fancy home buying binder, I just know that that's not possible. Even when I, um, even with me having these materials at home, I really wanted a cute 
you know, home buying binder because cute things just motivate me. But <laughs> I decided to um, use the materials I had at home, but um, I did go ahead and buy some um, decals for my envelopes. So I went on Etsy, I found a lady that did 11 decals for, I was thinking about it y'all, I know I paused. 11 decals, I think I paid like 10, 10, so $10.10 .10 for them. And then her shipping I think was $3 and some change. So I ordered some decals to put on the outside of these. And I also, there was another shop, small business on Etsy, and she was having a sale on her dashboards. So the dash, when I say she was having a sale, y'all, I paid $2.34, okay? It was cheap, but I bought a dashboard for this binder too, a cute dashboard. Cause I wanna jazz it up, you know, I wanna, it, like I said, cute things motivate me. So <laughs> um, I bought that dashboard and then I bought the decals to go on the envelope. So let me, let me share with you guys the categories um, that I came up with. And just a side note, this is not my first time buying a home. Um, I've owned a home in California and I've owned a home in Washington. Um, is this it? Yeah, um, California and Washington and I, I sold those homes um, right before we PCS'd. So this is not my first rodeo um, and just from experience these are categories that um, I feel like are going to be very important especially since this will be my first time buying a home um, completely on my own. I want to make sure that I'm on top of all of these categories specifically. You guys let me know down below if you think that there is an important category that I'm missing. But for the most part, um, I have down payment, earnest money, closing costs, inspection, first month bills, appliances, moving expenses, home taxes, home decor, and then these are actually uh, split these categories up, but I, I will also have miscellaneous expenses and then insurance. Um, so those are my categories that I'm putting in this binder. And then I kind of jotted down an amount, a rough amount of the goal for each of these categories are, except for insurance and first month's bills and home taxes, because I just don't know. But these are the amounts, my goal amounts that I want to have in those categories. So down payment, 10,000, earnest money, 4,000, closing costs, 10,000, inspection, 550, appliances, 2,500, moving expenses, 3,500, home decor, 5,000, miscellaneous expenses, 5,000. I'm not sure what to put for insurance, home taxes, or first month's bills yet. So that's why I left those empty. But those are the categories that I'm going to be putting in my home buying binder. I'm super excited to get started on this in November, y'all. So excited. So that's that. I think that's all the updates that I have for you guys right now. So cash stuffing number four. It's a wrap. We're all stuffed <laughs> and ready to go for the week. Thank you guys so, so, so much for tuning in with your girl, okay? If you're not subscribed, hopefully by the end of this video, you consider subscribing, giving this video a huge thumbs up, leaving me a comment down below and letting me know that you stopped by, especially if this is your first time here and you subscribe to my channel, please leave me a comment down below because I want to come to your channel and support you as well. We have to support each other. Subscribing is absolutely free. Why not, right? Until my next video, y'all. Peace.